Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Drama Side for Drama Side TV. We are getting back into it. Yes. Stilly Dan. What a journey it's been. And now we're down to our last three songs of this journey. Last three songs. Pixeline, Lunch with Gina, and Everything Must Go right now. Rounds. And that's when she jumps the turnstile And as she clings to the roof of the speeding train The double A down to Sheridan Square This is what I've been waiting for this whole album That bounce That saxophone coming in like that That jazzy, funky, bluesy riffs that I enjoy with Stilly Dan Hey, it's right there Let me take it back a little bit Let's get back into it and that's when she jumps the turnstile And as she clings to the roof of the speeding train The double A down to Sheridan Square Her cell phone rings It's like her stupid father In the dark I take Again I didn't even know that that was coming, but I felt it coming. It's at the same time that saxophone came in. It gets, oh, this, I tell you, this journey has been amazing. This duo was absolutely just top notch. I, I, I said it in the beginning and I'll say it again. It was some of the greatest things that I've ever heard. People who do not want to give them their flowers are a bit on the ridiculous side to me. These guys just, they started so much and people can deny it. They can say that they didn't influence so many, but we know the truth. The people who really listen to music know the truth.
that was one of my top ones for this uh, album. That right there had everything that I looked for. And like I said, as a student of the game and somebody who writes music and produces music, when you listen to um, their work, it's not a moment's wasted. It's not a space within the structure of the song that's wasted or the arrangement of the song that's wasted. Uh, the harmonies are where they should be, perfectly inserted where they should be. Uh, solos come in right in, in that moment where you're in flow of the music and you can feel that coming in. It just, it just lends to the passion that these gentlemen exhibited on the work. And then it just, it just basically transports it to you. It's outstanding. Let's Regina next, of course. I say last song those say things happen in a song that you weren't prepared for it now i should have been but i was so into the harmonies i was listening to the lyrics of the song this is why in a lot of these cases when you're listening to songs like these you have to go and get the two and the three time listens because you're trying to hear everything uh it, it's not possible the first time this is why music is made to or meant to be enjoyed over and over again because you always hear those little trinkets or those pockets that you didn't hear the first couple times uh but yes i'm here for the guitar solo now so let me take it back and let me be able to flow into it this time let's do that <laughs> Maybe later, maybe never. Love. 
I listen. I heard some people in the beginning when I started doing this album, and they said that this wasn't very good. This album wasn't very good. Now, surely there were songs on this that I didn't feel uh, were in the same vein as some of the earlier ones. I mean, everybody's everything is not going to be Asia, you know. Uh, everything's not going to be the glamour profession, you know. Uh, that's why albums are different. That's why time. It, it, it comes to pass. Things change. But if a band is great, there's always going to be something that re, that reminds you of the greatness. Even if the whole piece or body of work is not what you think it, it is, for somebody else, it could be their personal gold mine. And like I said, there were songs on this that I was like, eh, I don't know. But just these last two that I've listened to alone have shown me that this is worth its salt. This is a great album. When you think in terms of today, where it's a single driven market and there's not too many albums that you can listen to front to back. There's some out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disrespecting other uh, bands and artists, but it's not like it used to be. Anybody who tries to tell me that you're basically pissing down my back and tell me it's raining. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And therefore, I can't trust you. Uh, this is fantastic. Lunch with Gina is a movement. Everything must go, y'all. The last one on this Dilly Dan journey. Let's get into it.
If you did not like at least those last three songs, which I think all three of them were bangers, I'm starting to wonder if you're really a fan of music at all. That was absolutely fantastic, and they showed you how it's supposed to be done. Uh, so you may have noticed as I was looking down in the beginning of the song, and it's the curiosity came to me because I was watching a special the other night about Lord Tariq and um, God, I can't even remember the other rapper's name. Uh, Pete something. Anyways, oh God, people are going to crucify me for that. But anyhow, uh, I was watching a special the other night um, about people who sampled um, Stilly Dan's music um, and it didn't really bode well for them uh, as far as not taking care of the paperwork, as far as not getting permission from people before you're sampling their music. Let me see if I can run through here really quick and see this because it's going to drive me crazy. Anyways, what I'm going to do on the other channel, uh, the Stilly Dan journey for me is far from over, even though the albums have been completed now. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to go on a hunt because... I'm looking at this list and there are tons and tons and tons of people who have sampled Stilly Dan. If I, if I remember correctly, I was told that Stilly Dan is the most sampled group 
in hip hop history. Uh, and I want to know, but there's so there's the list is so huge here. And I would like to see, listen to these songs now that I've listened to the originals by the great Stilly Dan. And I'd like to hear what other people did or how it was used to create new art. Um, and in some cases, I know uh, I'll probably hear some things that were used and sampled that, that come out pretty good. Other ones I already know. I won't like it at all. Uh, <laughs> and that's just the way it is. But I do want to check that out. This album to me, where I'm not going to compare it to some of the earlier ones that I enjoy it so much. Uh, I'm just going to let it stand on its own as they, as I'm told, this was their last studio album. Um, I thought it was fantastic. It is not my favorite, but at the same time, I do have some favorite songs on here that I will carry with me as I leave this particular journey that I know that I would listen to in my own time again. Uh, it's been fun doing this Stilly Dan journey with you. Um, we are embarking on the yes uh, journey for those of you who have been following along on that one. We're going to be getting back into that one, but we are definitely going to dig into those uh, who have sampled Stilly Dan and listen to those songs. Uh, and then we'll give it the ups and we'll give it the down. We'll give it whatever we'll decide together. But anyways, once again, this is drama side. Thank you for listening until next time. Peace. <laughs>